space time is this idea that physical space and time are connected. Uh, it's almost like they're, they refer to it as a fabric, uh, like my shirt fabric, right? It, it, if you pull on it, right, it stretches and it might even tear, but it, it's all one fabric. Space and time are woven together. Uh, and so you'll see like uh, scientists talking about black holes and how physical space and time can be kind of like uh, pulled into itself uh, with a black hole. Now here's a very, <laughs> here's an interesting question that I've thrown out before. Um, maybe you've seen in, in science fiction, you know, where they'll travel into a black hole uh, to jump into another dimension or to time travel. Uh, anybody want to offer their, their opinion? Would you travel into a black hole? Uh, let's see, Henry, would you travel into a black hole? I mean, I've it? heard of, like, black holes are, like, a, 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 like, infinitely long hole into the fabric of space, like an actual hole. Which is why there's like very much uncertainty of what's actually in a black hole and what it will do to your body. Which is why I'm kind of two-sided. Like, it would be cool to if if black holes are connected to white holes and they're just like wormholes through space and time. That would be really cool. But it's a little dangerous. Yeah, I would I would say it is a little dangerous. So yeah, Henry points out that you know there are theories: white holes, black holes, time you know, portals. Uh, there's a lot of theories, but we've never done it. Uh, and we can only imagine that, you know, uh, it could be very dangerous, you know. Uh, any, you know, a black hole is so powerful that it actually physically pulls light into it. Pop culture. So affected by a degenerative disease that had doctors predicting an early death, Hawking uh, instead lived to research the creation of the universe and its possible end in the form of black holes. Also a popular writer, he published bestsellers including A Brief History of Time. Those who met him testified to his charisma and sense of humor. So it was a little unusual that when he threw a party in 2009, not a single guest attended. A film of the event depicts a dismal cocktail party. Three trays of canopies sit on eaten and fleets filled with crude champagne go untouched. Balloons decorate the walls, and a giant banner displays the words, Welcome, Tom Traveler. Wait, what? As it happened, Hawking's party was actually an experiment on the possibility of time travel. Invitations were sent only after the party was over. Along with many physicists, Hawking had mused about whether going forward and back in time was possible. 